Hi there, and welcome back to my let's play of Half Mint Hero. I think this is episode 22, don't really have a clue. Anyway, let me just check that I'm allowed to use the equipment I've got, yes I am. Okay, so let's get underway. Um, the first level in the snow, I think? I don't think we've seen one in the snow before. So anyway, let's do this. Breezer is casting the spell. Something about any bad cave, yada yada yada, oh, this level. The snowy country lies ahead. Go through some sad caves. Speak to the villagers. Go through the caves. Kill the evil lord. It's always the same things. Nothing to say. Oh, traveling swordsman. I remember. Kill. Come on. Anytime you like. Thank you. Cheers. Now, in here. Ooh, I wouldn't mind that. Um, no, this isn't what I wanted. Go away. I guess the swordsman's this way? Die, die, die. Why am I dying? Oh god. I'm dying. I'm going to die to the scorpion. Uh, turn around. Enter village. I have. I could afford that sword now, couldn't I? Let's go back again. Ching! Check out my shiny sword. Perfect. Right. Time. Rewind. Boom. And we're on the way again. Man, it feels like I'm walking so slow. See on my other account where I've been playing ahead. I bought some nice boots. And you move a lot faster, as far as I can tell. But this feels slow. Oh no! The swords lady person is trapped in a cage. Well, he died easily, didn't he? Defeat the cage! Bam! Ba defeated! Huzzah! She thought I was gonna hurt her. Oh dear. She is wanting to call Karen. Sniff? Why is she sniffing? Stop it. Well, let's go defeat the evil lord then. Oh! Oh, she smashed that deer with that stick. Did you see that shit? He was like, <laughs> headshot. Give me. Thank you. Come on. She dies really easily, if I remember correctly. Look at her die. Why are these scorpions so goddamn powerful? Fat help she was. Penguins! Peggy the penguin, apparently. Do this shit. She's dead! There she goes. Oh well. Breeza. Be useless. Don't even know why you're still here. Well, that's that one done then. Huzzah. What did she give me? She gave me a shield. The spike shield. I think it's an alright shield. God damn. <laughs> Hurry ahead! Away! Come on. Right, the next level, one we've all been waiting for, I think. I think this is. Wait, I'll have to check. But I'm pretty sure the next level is the last level which I have the power of the demon. Not the next level on this line, of course, the other line. Blah 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 blah. Go. Right, so we're going to leave that one for now, the quest 17, Avalanche Pass, and head back to the other quest 16 on this line. And if you remember, we got the power of the devil here, so it's one, two, three, this is the fourth time, and he said after the fourth time he will claim myself. So, uh, let me just change my equipment, because I can't use either this sword or this shield. Um, 
Looks like the battle axe is actually the best bet. And that should be Duralumin, whatever that means. So yeah, let's do this shit. Hey, it's the time reader. Got it. Remember the Pact of the Demon? Yep, I do. I was just talking about that, actually. Four times I shall have your soul afterwards. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, I know it's going to be the fourth time I just said that. She says she'll do something about it for you. If I find that much money. Which does sound quite ridiculous. But it's okay, she takes it down by 10%. Ugh. <sighs> So yeah, the first time I completed this level, I thought, you know what, let's find out what happens if I try and do it without getting the gold. And basically, you get a game over. I would show you, but it'd be probably a waste of time. Basically all that happens is the demon comes and says, you cocked up, and it kicks you back to the title screen, and then you have to do the whole level again. Quite frankly, it's just annoying. So, as it is, I'm just going to find the- shut up, bitch. <laughs> I'm just going to find the treasure which is pretty easy to find. Oh look, it's the Evil Lord. Bach. Bach. How do you pronounce that? You keep looking for my treasure. He buried his treasure, as in, it's in those holes, like you can see to the left of the text box. Fail. Fail. So obviously, whoever's doing that is in the cave. You don't have to save the villagers. The most important thing is getting the treasure, because if you don't, you fail everything. Whoa, -ho! a bit of frame rate drop there. Ooh, screen shaking. God damn, so much screen shaking. Hi, Master Bomb Maker. Here you go, have a bomb. I don't know why he gives you the big bomb. Because. He says don't use it on a monster, but quite frankly it's most useful use is on a monster. Now you can go in the cave on the left now to go defeat the thing that's creating all the earth. Oh, that rock just disappeared. However, I'm just going to jump down here and get the first piece of treasure. Hooray, treasure! Ching! That was a nice yellow screen. However, this is only one of the pieces. Because there's only 50... Wow, what was that? 500,000 gold. I like the music in here. Anyway. To get the other piece! Ah! The village was destroyed! No! But it's time my time. What I might do is actually try and save the village, because... I never know, that might be fun. Come on, anytime you like. Oh, you fucking serious? No, no, the village is going to be destroyed any second now. 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 God damn. I need to be able to kill that blob. Apparently if you run into those rocks, they just explode. Bloody Larry. That mole is actually pretty damn awesome. Oh, he died already. The music in here is great as well, actually, thinking about it. Kill the mole! Oh, what's this? He doesn't want to do it anymore. So he's not going to do it again. And he's going to go home. The earthquakes have stopped. Does that mean this village isn't going to be destroyed? I sure as hell hope so. Come on. Apparently it does. Holy Jesus Christ. The good news is I can defeat the evil lord in this amount of time. What are you? Bomb. Dead. <laughs> oh, that was close. Thank god the bomb almost killed him. Oh shit, no! Whoops. Oh, 
after getting distracted and going in that cave, guess what I forgot to do? Get the other gold! Right. And this is where we get the fun ass game over screen. Why did I bother saving the village? It's actually a waste of time. Here's the ancient devil, blah 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 blah. Come for my soul. Great. <sighs> Game over music. Hooray. Jeff had his soul taken by the evil devil, thus the journey had ended. The end. It's actually some good music. Right, let's see if I can, before 15 minutes, can I do that whole level? As you can probably tell by the screen, it means I cocked up the level, in fact twice after we, the other part of the video. So I'm gonna fucking do it again, even though I'm not in the mood, it's really pissing me off, I can't believe I keep messing up, I actually might punch someone in the face, gonna do it. fuck me, that me insane. Right look, twat features, give me the bomb. Takes freaking long, I have a problem. Skip that. Don't care about the village. God damn. God fucking damn. Right. That's that done. And this is the where it tells you you're not a cock and you actually did the level properly. Bust the game. Good job. In the end, you found two of the treasure with the destroyer. Well, she saved me from the thing. No more demon power. Another thing you might notice is the map screen. Go away. When we look back at the map screen. When we look back at the map screen. Is. Look! They've joined up! Isn't that brilliant? Now there's only two separate strands of quests. So, yes. Brilliant. That's it for this episode. See you whenever.